Hi guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to do this week's lab, which is heating and cooling curves. The first step I want to do is make sure I have all my materials. I've got a ring stand, a test tube filled with a white solid. This is a paradichlorobenzene, a thermometer, a thermometer clamp, a test tube holder, a, the ring stand, my beaker, a hot plate. The first step I want to do is fill my beaker with a quarter cup well, not quite a cup of water, but about three-fourths full of water. Then the next step I'm going to do is I want to submerge my test tube and my thermometer into my beaker. Now my hot plate's not on yet, so I'm going to drop it down, submerge it in the water. To tighten or loosen these, remember it's righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. I want to make sure my thermometer is really good in the solid, okay? Should be, the red part should be completely covered. So before I do anything else, I wanna record my starting temperature. So I'm gonna, I have a nice little table for you. So at time zero, I'm gonna record my temperature. And right now it's at about 39 degrees Celsius. I'm going to be recording the temperature every 30 seconds. I'm going to have want to have some sort of way to measure that. So I've got my phone here. I'm going to set up the timer. Okay. So you know, I've got that. I'm going to turn my hot plate on to about 7 or 8. Okay. I'm going to start my clock. I'm going to let it run for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to take the temperature. Then I'm going to let it run for 30 seconds and tape the temperature. I suggest that one person be in charge of the stopwatch or the clock. And every 30 seconds, let the person who's in charge of reading the temperature know that it's been 30 seconds and they're going to read the temperature. And then the recorder will write down the temperature that the person manning the thermometer said. Okay, so it's been 30 seconds. I'm going to record. It's still about 39. As this goes on, that will be boiling. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go again. It's been 60 seconds and it's at about uh, 39.5. It went up a little bit. Again, for my 90 seconds, it's at about, mm, it's at about 40 degrees. Okay, so I'm definitely increasing. So I'm going to let this go for 10 minutes. Okay? When I'm done with this for 10 minutes, I'm going to turn off my hot plate, okay? raise everything up. I'm going to move this to my wire gauze, but I can't take it by my hands right I'll burn myself, so you're going to either use the beaker tongs or the crucible tongs that are available at your stations, at your desk, but please make sure that if you're using crucible tongs that you are very, very careful. I would actually suggest to wait to borrow somebody, another group's beaker tongs. The beaker tongs are the larger ones. So after I have moved this to my wire gauze, I'm going to put it aside. I'm going to get another beaker and I'm going to fill it up with room temperature water. Then I take my room temperature water and place my test tube, my thermometer, my setup, 
into the room temperature water. Okay? Be easy enough as lifting this all up. Oh, nope, nope, that's too hard. Don't do that. Okay, don't do that. Not an example. So I'm going to put my room temperature water on and put my stuff in. Okay? And then I'm going to record it going the opposite way, cooling down, taking a measurement every 30 seconds. And again, with somebody manning the clock, somebody manning the thermometer, and then somebody manning the paper. So that is how to do this week's lab.